I'm Melissa Chris, And I'm Liz Gresser. And you're watching VNN. This month, we're taking a look inside of Tall Hall, Belmont's newest residence hall. I'm Harrison Baldwin, and this is 5-Minute Expert. <laughs> Judy, how about this? Welcome to the September edition of VNN. First, let's go to Lydia Fletcher for a look at Belmont's biggest news this month. Thanks, Liz. Earlier this month, Board of Trust member Lee Beeman took a leave of absence from his position in the midst of heated divorce proceedings. A court brief filed by his wife alleged Beeman sexually and emotionally abused her throughout the couple's 17-year marriage. She is seeking a divorce on the grounds of cruel and inhuman treatment, according to the brief. The Beeman family is very influential around Nashville and has consistently donated to Belmont for years. The Beeman Student Life Center is named after the family. On Tuesday, the university announced that Lee Beeman is stepping down from the board, quote, until his family dispute is resolved. But a few Belmont students and alumni are calling for Beeman's permanent removal from the board. One of Beeman's most vocal critics has been 2016 alumnus Richard Meyer. Meyer said, quote, if we expect our students to live one way, but then are run by people who are obviously corrupt and committed heinous acts, it really sets a facade of what is happening from the top down. In a statement to The Vision, Student Government President Gavin Mummert said, quote, As the situation continues to develop, we will stand by whatever the students and their values are, and will encourage Belmont to take action to protect those values. Belmont could remove Beeman from the board with the vote of two-thirds of the other trustees, according to Belmont University bylaws. Back to you, Melissa and Liz. Thanks, Lydia. For more updates on this story, head to the Belmont Vision website. In other news, Tall Hall is finally open for students after more than a year of construction. We got a look inside Belmont's newest residence hall after the dust settled from student move-in. Gabby Smedley has the story. I'm Gabby Smedley, and I'm here in the newest residence hall on Belmont's campus, Tall Hall. With a new residence hall comes a ton of new amenities, like a new fitness center, new furniture, and a new concept of suite style living. Let's go check it out. Tall Hall was completed in August, 20 months after contractors broke ground on the project. With 10 stories and 610 residents, the building is significantly larger than any other residence hall on Belmont's campus. The new res hall offers both familiar styles of living and new concepts, such as a single resident suite connected by a shared bathroom. Um, it's pretty nice. I have a wonderful view outside. Um, the amenities are super great, and I really like the building because it's brand new and just clean. The apartments are very similar to those of the other residence halls, with the exception of the newly designed furniture implemented in Tall Hall. Rooms include beds that can be custom configured to meet individual students' needs with storage and shelf space, and desks that attach to the beds to save space. The new open air wardrobes add a modern touch to the rooms and are designed to be stacked on top of students' drawers. Couches in tall hall apartments can also be configured in several different arrangements. Each of these is its own um, object, so like you could set it up to have like a chair and like maybe a love seat or something. Tall Hall has twice as many students as the next largest hall, but Shelby said she hasn't had any trouble with access to facilities such as the laundry room. There's a lot of people in this building, you know, it might get busy, but, you know, every time I go down there, I don't have any issues. The building also includes a new fitness studio with cardio and lightweight equipment that is accessible to all Belmont students. Overall, Betsy said she is very happy with the way the building turned out. I'd say that the new, like, setup we have of like that new like bear statue and everything like it's a very pretty view um so it's like just really enjoyable to like hang out here the views from the building aren't the only views worth seeing Ooh, i definitely think the architecture for this building is super complex mm -hmm. i guess the stairway is my favorite part seeing that view like going up or down the stairs so pretty at night i like the seeing the skyline when i wake up or go to bed for vnn i'm gabby smedley thanks gabby the new residence hall has definitely come a long way since we saw it in March. Tall Hall won't be the newest building on campus for long. At the beginning of the semester, President Robert Fisher announced a new construction project, a new performing arts center which will fill the block between Bernard and Compton Avenues. The performing arts center will replace many buildings on the block, including Thai Restaurant International Market. Our five-minute expert Harrison Baldwin stopped into the restaurant earlier this month to learn how to make some of the food that makes International Market so popular.
Hey guys, I'm your five minute expert, Harrison Baldwin. Today I'm here at International Market with Mal. And what are you going to be teaching me? Today we're going to teach him about a steam table for the international market and restaurant. So we starting first with the steam table. After that, we're going to teach him about the frying stuff, egg roll, and the chicken liver, kisses, everything. It's after that, and going to make him show how to make the fried rice and make some spring roll, fresh spring roll. So let's get, get started. It. Hey! Like that? Spread yes. it out. Spread it out. Yeah. You can pick up a lot at one time and spread it out so you don't have to keep moving back and forth. You're right. Save your four times back and forth, back and forth. You're right, you're right. right. That was so Good. much better. Keep going, keep going, tight. It's too tight? No, 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 not too tight. Tight is good. One row, we make six feet. Six feet. Oh, so sorry. No, don't sorry. You do a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Come tomorrow, it will be better. Oh, yeah. Keep it soft, please. I'm done. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, you gotta go Friday. Say <laughs> it. I'm proud of myself. Be here today. I made it. I made it. I did it. So, how did I do? How did I do? I think you try. You do a great job. <laughs> you do a great job. You do a great job. You try. This I your, try. This is your first time, right? So you want to get yeah, the first time stuff for more experience that you can come back anytime in the kitchen. Oh, I'll be back. I'm going to be an expert. Okay, don't worry. Thanks, Harrison. At least he's better at cooking than he was at playing basketball. Yeah, we should probably leave that to the professionals. While well, basketball season isn't quite here yet, Belmont Athletics released the men and women's schedules earlier this month, and it looks like it'll be a season packed with heavy competition. Stephen Boero has the story. Though the court here at the Kirby Event Center is quiet now, it won't be for long. The Belmont men's and women's basketball team released their 2018-2019 schedule in late August. The teams will face some tough opponents this season. The women's team is coming off their third straight OVC conference tournament title. This season will be led by second year head coach Bart Brooks and seniors Jenny Roy and Darby Maggard. They will kick off the 2018 season against ACC Powerhouse NC State. Later in the season, the Bruins will head to Knoxville to face the University of Tennessee Lady Vols, who have one of the most successful programs in NCAA history. The men's team will be looking for an appearance in the NCAA tournament after three straight seasons without a conference tournament title. Head coach Rick Bird and superstar senior Dylan Windler will lead the Bruins this season as they face some of the country's tougher mid-major opponents, which will include Illinois State, Western Kentucky, and crosstown rivals Lipscomb. Belmont will also have the chance to face the legendary UCLA basketball program in LA. The last time the teams met, Belmont lost to UCLA in the opening round of the NCAA tournament in 2006. Back to you, Melissa and Liz. Thanks, Stephen. In recent years, Belmont's basketball program has produced a lot of successful alumni. Three 2018 graduates recently signed contracts to play professionally overseas. But many of Belmont's most notable alumni are musicians. Caitlin Alexander talked with up-and-coming alumni band Waker at Live on the Green earlier this month to see how Belmont has impacted their careers. Live on the Green is an annual music festival hosted by Nashville's local alternative radio station, Lightning 100. The festival includes performances from local and big name performers in the alternative music scene. This year, Belmont alumni band, Waker, performed at the festival for the first time. To be here, to be on the stage that, I mean, I remember seeing bands that I looked up to and then coming out here to do it for, for friends, family, people we've never met, it's honestly, like I said, it's a dream come true. band except for our keyboard player went to Belmont so we all we all basically met there so I mean it is the best connective 
space to be. Music aside, if you're creative, if you want to do something artistic, or just something that you're passionate about, Belmont has it all. It's just a special place because of that, that community that exists. Don't take that for granted. You go to Belmont, take advantage of the space that you have, the people that you're around, that you're friends with, are, are, are striving for big things. So it's a really cool, it's a really cool place. For BNN, I'm Caitlin Alexander. Thanks, Caitlin. That's all for this month's edition of VNN. We'll leave you with a song from our first office concert of the semester featuring Bell Enzer. This is a song called Drowning Me. Love is pulling me down. I'm too scared to rise up from the ground Cause heartbreak is a mistake I never wanted to make This sea is too deep for me And I can't breathe, words you don't speak They're drowning me I want your touch, I crave your love Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on VNN. Hands are reaching out, but none of them are yours, no doubt. You said you loved me, then tied me to a weight. This scene.